Have we all got a story to tell? Yes. Does it have to be life-changing? No. Do your customers want to hear it? Yes. Do I have to share everything with everyone? No, not if you don't want to. Will storytelling help me build my business? Yes. Why don't you try it and see? Hello and welcome to the Everyday Storyteller, a daily show for women with something to say but who, from time to time, may struggle with using their voice and telling their story. I'm your host, Hilary Soldsman. This is episode number 144. Amazing, huh? If you've been listening for a while and are still sitting on the fence to whether storytelling is right for you or not, or if you're coming in new to this and are wondering if you have a story worth telling, the answer is always a resounding yes. We all possess a unique narrative shaped by our experiences, our triumphs, our challenges. Well, it's easy to believe that only life-changing stories are worth sharing. The truth is that even the seemingly mundane moments can hold profound meaning. In fact, relatable stories often resonate the most with others. By sharing your personal anecdotes, lessons you've learned and insights you've gained along your journey, you can inspire, motivate and connect with your ideal clients on a much deeper level. But becoming a better everyday storyteller takes practice. That's why I started this show, to make it easier for you to build the habits day by day. But I can promise you, the rewards are well worth the effort. Here are a few tips to help you get started or remind you of the basics if things are feeling a little tough right now when writing or sharing your stories. First up, identify what it is you want to say, your core message. Think about the key takeaway you want your audience to remember and align it with your business goals, what you're actually trying to achieve. Craft a compelling narrative. Structure your story simply with a clear beginning, middle and end and make sure your audience, your ideal client, is at the heart of that story. Make them the hero. Connect on an emotional level. This doesn't need to be complicated. Share personal anecdotes or moments of vulnerability to build trust and establish that really strong connection with the people you're trying to reach. Practice active listening. Pay attention to your audience's needs and feedback. You can adapt your storytelling style or even your content accordingly to ensure everything resonates and engages them. And with that in mind, use different mediums. You can experiment with various storytelling formats. It's not one or the other. So written articles, social media posts, videos, reels, TikToks, or even podcasts. Find a way that best suits your style and resonates with your audience. You need to feel comfortable. And finally, continue to refine your storytelling skills. I'm doing this all the time and I've been doing this for quite a few years. Seek feedback from others, learn from other storytellers and consistently practice and refine your craft. Although I will be taking a short break for summer very soon, all my episodes will continue to be available for you to dip back in and out of whenever you need a refresh or confidence boost. Keep an eye out throughout August on my Instagram or LinkedIn for more details. All my contact information is in the show notes. And don't forget, regardless of the scale or perceived significance of your story, sharing it with honesty and purpose can create profound connections with your audience. Through storytelling, you can humanise your brand, build trust and inspire action. So take the leap and unleash the power of everyday storytelling to help you achieve your ambitions. Thanks for listening.